chanting in Islam. Children are a blessing and a gift from Allah. Children are a blessing and a gift from Allah. Parenting in Islam. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al Amiya wa al Mursaleen. Amma ba'd. فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Dear viewers of Madani Channel, we welcome you to another episode of our series Parenting in Islam. Let's start our episode as usual by listening to an excellence of reciting Durood and Salam upon the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alihi Wasallam Dear viewers of my channel, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alihi Wasallam has stated O oh people, undoubtedly from the terror and accountability of the Day of Judgment the person who would attain the quick salvation would be the one who would have recited Salat upon me in abundance Subhanallah Azza wa Jal Dear viewers of Madani channel After listening to this blessed hadith Make a firm intention That you will keep on reciting Durood and Salam upon the Holy Prophet Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam In abundance To gain the numerous blessings Subhanallah Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Dear viewers of Madani channel Our topic for today is The Prophet's Compassion for daughters, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. We're going to talk about the compassion the Holy Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam had for daughters, especially. And we will also discuss the upbringing of daughters in this episode. Firstly, make sure you make good intentions. The Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has stated, Niyatul mu'mini khayru min amali. That is, a believer's intention is better than his action. Therefore, the more good intentions you make, the more sawab and reward you would attain. Firstly, make the intention and the most important intention is that you listen to this episode to gain the pleasure of Allah Almighty. And you will, whatever you will learn in this episode, also make the intention that you will apply it and implement it in your life and also share it with your family and friends. And whenever you hear Sallu al Habib, you will recite Durood upon the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alihi Wa Sallam. Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wa sallam Dear viewers of Madani channel Before moving towards our main topic Let's listen to a few things about the upbringing of daughters Children are a blessing of Allah Azza wa Jal While valuing his blessing The parents should pay special attention to the upbringing and nurturing of children because the children are like a blank paper and any type of decorative patterns can be drawn on it. The lap of the mother is the first school for the children. It is for the reason the upbringing by a mother has a very deep impact on her children. The sacred status of motherhood demands each mother to give excellent tarbiyat that is upbringing to her children, especially the female children with Islamic culture and civilization, moral values and moral edification because today's young girl will be a mother tomorrow. A renowned commentator of the Holy Quran has said, it is important upon us that we should provide Islamic education to our children and family members, teach them good things and impart to them that education of respect which is unavoidable. Dear viewers of Madani Shalil, in this very first place, Teach your daughter glorious Qur'an and teach essentials of Islam, Islamic beliefs, purity, salah and other rulings which are part of the day-to-day -day life. Thereafter, make arrangement to educate her skills of needlework by any pious woman as women often need to do this. Try to enable her to acquire the expertise in cooking and other home economic skills as the refined and well-mannered women can lead a better life than an unmannered one. The pious people used to give special attention to the tarbiyat and the upbringing of their female children. Following are a few examples. Tabi personality Sayyidina Saeed bin Musayyab rahmatullahi ta'ala lay married his daughter to one of his students. Next morning when her husband taking his sheet in his hand was about to leave his home, she asked him where he was going. 
He replied that he was going to the majlis of Sayyidina Sa'id bin Musayyab rahmatullahi ta'ala for acquiring Islamic knowledge. The daughter said, please be seated. Let me teach you Islamic knowledge. It is stated that the glorious hadith book authored by Imam Malik rahmatullahi ta'ala when it would be read in the court of Imam Malik rahmatullahi ta'ala and the reader would make any mistake or would miss any letter unintentionally, then his daughter would knock at the door. Imam Malik rahmatullahi ta'ala would understand that the reader had made a mistake. So he rahmatullahi ta'ala would say, read again, you have made a mistake. When he would read it again, he would really observe a mistake in the reading there. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, dear viewers of Madani Channel, you can see the pious saints of Allah Azza wa Jal and their upbringing of daughters. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, have you observed what a great upbringing the pious predecessors gave to their daughters? They grew them into practicing alima and the hafizah of Quran and hadith. Subhanallah. It is also learned from the second example that our pious predecessors, Rahimahumullah Ta'ala, used to persuade their daughters, especially to observe Parda. The daughter of Imam Malik, Rahmatullah Ta'ala, used to knock at the door, saying behind the Parda, so inculcate the habit of Parda in your daughters right from their childhood. Refrain them to adopt masculine hairstyles as well as ask them not to wear masculine clothes and the hats of boys so that they consider themselves different from men. So after reaching puberty and attaining adulthood, they will not face difficulties in developing their habits and practices according to Sharia law. Dear viewers of Madani channel, moving towards our main topic that is the Prophet Wasallam's compassion towards daughters. SubhanAllah, the Prophet ﷺ was sent as a mercy and a teacher to teach mankind how to live with honor and civility. The noble Prophet ﷺ legislated rights for daughters in a society where infant girls were buried alive. Leading by example, he lived the very principles of love and care towards daughters which he preached. Dear viewers of Mandani Channel, let's listen to a few examples of the Prophet's compassion towards daughters. A man visited the noble Prophet ﷺ and said, Dear Messenger of Allah وسلم, during the age of ignorance, we were idol worshippers and would murder our children. I had a daughter who would rejoice when I called her. One day I called her, so she followed me happily. As we reached a well, I took her by the hand and plunged her into it. The girl cried, Father, Father, she continued crying for help as I walked away. The Noble Prophet وسلم, after hearing this, began to cry. Allahu Akbar. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, was praying while carrying his granddaughter through his daughter Sayyidatuna Zainab anha. When he prostrated, he put her down and when he stood, he picked her up on his neck. Subhanallah Azza wa Dear viewers of Madani Channel, let's listen to another example of the Prophet's compassion towards daughters. When the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Wasallam passed by an area of Medina, he saw some young girls singing at his arrival. They were singing, We are the girls of Banu Najjar. What an excellent neighbor is Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Wasallam said, Allah knows that you are dear to me. When Sayyidina Umm Salma radiallahu ta'ala anha married the noble Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, she would suckle her daughter Sayyidina Zainab radiallahu ta'ala anha. Whenever the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam entered his home, he would lovingly ask, where is Zainab? Where is Zainab? Subhanallah azza wa jal. Subhanallah azza wa jal. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, when the ignorance in society was at its peak and people would bury their innocent daughters alive, the Noble Prophet ﷺ granted daughters honor, protection and love. It is reported that whenever Sayyidatina Fatwa anha came to visit the Prophet ﷺ, he would stand to welcome her, kiss her hand and seat her in his place. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, we make dua in the court of Allah Almighty that may Allah Almighty grant every society the ability to love and show compassion towards their daughters. Ameen. Bijahin Nabi Lameen sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Keep watching Madani channel. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal will be back with another episode. Sallu wa al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Parenting in Islam.
Children are a blessing and a gift from Allah. Children are a blessing and a gift from Allah. Parenting in Islam.